Picture this. You're on foot, on the run. You're escaping from some seriously scary end-of-the-world chaos. Your vehicle's dead, and you're left with just your backpack. The EMP hit. Everyone is panicking, and you've got to keep moving. But your stash of supplies in that backpack won't last forever. So what's the plan? Let's talk about scavenging in a survival situation. First off, let's review the priorities. Water, food, shelter, medical gear, and tools. In that order. Water's non-negotiable, so find a clean source ASAP. Next, food. Canned goods are great, they last, but they're heavy. Think about it, hauling around a big can of beans all day? Not fun. So we need calorie-dense, lightweight options. Try to avoid glass containers. They're heavy and fragile. A bad combination when you are on foot. Stick to plastic or the cans whenever possible. And on your search, look for Ziploc bags. You can transfer items from heavy glass containers into the much lighter weight Ziploc bags, and these bags also will fit better into a backpack or any other type of carry bag. And when it comes to packing your scavenged items, stuff that bag as full as you can. You can always ditch stuff later if you need to. Even find rope or any other cordage and tie things you find to the outside of the backpack if you have to. Now let's talk some specifics. Canned goods are usually your best bet. Look for stuff like corned beef hash, which is packed with calories and protein. Tuna's another winner for that much-needed protein boost. And don't ignore canned chicken or even salmon. Peanut butter's also loaded with protein, salt, and fats. Carbs are crucial too, especially if you're hauling a heavy pack. Ramen noodles might not be gourmet, but they're light, they taste good, and they put food in your belly. And, hey, in a survival situation, beggars can't be choosers. Don't forget the coffee. Instant, lightweight, and a definite morale booster on rough mornings. And let's not overlook cooking oil. It's not just for frying. In a pinch, it can be a candle, a heat source, and a lifesaver. Then there's hygiene. Look for items like soap, hand sanitizer, toilet paper, and even feminine hygiene products. Additionally, consider scavenging for items like trash bags or buckets for waste disposal and makeshift toilets. Depending on the situation, security may become a concern. So also look for items like weapons or defensive tools like pepper spray or even spray cans of chemicals to protect yourself from potential threats. If you're on the move, having appropriate clothing and shelter materials can make a huge difference in staying comfortable and protected from the elements. So scavenge for extra layers of clothing, sturdy footwear, tarps, blankets, or tents to provide shelter and insulation. And while I mentioned water as one of the main priorities, look for unconventional options as well. Rainwater collection containers or tarps can help out and be a lifesaver. Keep your eye out for wells while on your scavenging trips. And water heaters can be a good source of water. Keep in mind, you'll definitely want to purify any water you find or collect. Remember, scavenging is all about thinking outside the norm for how you use everyday items to ways you can repurpose things you find to work for you. In a suburban or urban area, check garages, sheds, anywhere you might find things you can use that other people might ignore when SHTF first happens. Tools, flammable items, and possibly even a bicycle might be hiding in those places. So there you have it, Scavenging 101. Remember, water, food, shelter, medical gear, and tools are your top priorities. But don't forget the stuff others might overlook that you can MacGyver into something you can use. All right, let me know your thoughts and what items you would look for in the comments. And check out this video YouTube says you should watch next based on your viewing history.